Guard. And if they don't, he will deploy the U.S. military and quickly solve the problem for them. That's what he said. Now he's standing there looking around after what was, uh, frankly, a pretty undignified approach to St. John's Episcopal Church, looking at he's holding up a Bible. Um, walking by some graffiti saying no justice, no peace, and FTP, which uh, people can figure out what that stands for. Um, holding up a Bible. We have a great country. That's my thoughts. This country is the world. Great. We will make it easy. And it won't take long. It's not going to take long. We see what's going on. It's coming back. It's coming back strong. It'll be greater than ever before. to the president uh, as he is there across the street, as we said, with his staff, massive security detail holding up a Bible. I'm just listening here along with everyone else, just to, to, to pause here for a moment of, of the president setting up this photo op for himself, dispersing peaceful protesters to do so in front of a boarded up church, which had that fire uh, due to the protests last evening. You can see him standing there. I just, I think it's important just to talk about the image. He, he sees this as his big photo. You saw him sort of, you know, caring about uh, the, the moment and the photo. Now bringing everybody in here for his, his photo op. That's what this is all about for him. It's press secretary Cal Kaylee McEnany. As he does this, and I will, uh, Bill Barr, the attorney general who we saw coming in, we're going to continue to monitor this and listen. While we do that, I'm going to bring in the governor of Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker. Governor, um, you were on the phone with the president today. Uh, you, you had some strong words. I, I want to ask you about that. But first, what do you say? Uh, you just heard Jeffrey Tubin, president saying 